In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a monochromatic color effect on an image. And so this is sort of our, our end result that we're going to go for. And so the first thing that you're going to need is an image. Um, there's a website called unsplash.com that has all sorts of great images that are open source and free to use. So I'm just going to copy that and then I'm going to come into here and command V it into a blank document. I'm going to come back to the layout in a second here. I don't want this text as I'm setting this up. So I'm going to go to apply layout and go to blank. And now what I need to do is I need to crop this image so that it's the aspect ratio of the screen. Under no circumstances should you ever simply just stretch Stretch it out like so. That looks terrible. We don't want that. We need to double click on the image and then we need to resize uh, the aspect ratio. So we're going to end up cutting out part of the picture uh, like so, uh, but we want the shape of the image to match the shape of the slide uh, as close as we can. So I'm going to click off of this. Now position this in the top uh, left corner. I'm going to hold shift. I'm going to drag this out to the right. And now I'm a little bit too wide here, so I'm simply going to double click and I'm going to crop this. And notice I can sort of see the ghost image right here where the edge of my uh, slide is. So I'm just going to further drag this to here and then click OK. All right, next step, I'm going to uh, go to Format Options for my picture. I have that selected. I have that in the Options bar right here. And I want to recolor this so it's black and white. And I may want to boost the contrast just a little bit here. Um, I can actually come back to, to that and play with it a little bit later. Next, I'm going to grab my shape object right here. I'm going to choose a rectangle, and from the top left corner all the way to the bottom right corner, I'm going to create a rectangle. I'm going to remove the stroke. I don't want any border. And uh, so choose transparent. And then I'm going to choose uh, a color right here. So I'm going to choose um, for this demonstration, I don't know, uh, some sort of blue right here. And now I go back into the uh, the fill color, I go to custom, and I want to knock down my transparency, or knock down my opacity to increase my transparency. So you can see right here, you may have to come in and play around with it a couple of times. Just go to custom, and then play with it like so. If you want the darks to be darker, then you can go click back on the image, and you can increase the, uh, the contrast a little bit. Um, I don't want this to be terribly overpowering, so I'm actually going to knock down the brightness just a little bit. And uh, I can even play around with the transparency of the image itself. So it's going to bring more of the white through. And uh, I'm pretty happy with the way that that looks. Now I can right click and go to Apply Layout. And I will add the text object right here. And uh, this would be a title um, that uh, I think I would want to be uh, white right here so that it pops out, doesn't blend in. Uh, so choose white, and then I'm going to add a drop shadow, or it's the format options of uh, the text. If I click off of here, you'll see that with the uh, drop shadow, that basically just makes it pop a little bit more. It just adds a little bit of darkness behind. And then right here, um, this would be a subtitle, and I want this to be black. So still it's contrasting, but I'm definitely drawn to here first. If I wanted my font to be bigger, um, I could adjust that accordingly. All right, that's how you do a monochromatic slide uh, where you want to sort of have the, the theme of the picture um, enhance the presentation, uh, but not overpower what you're looking at. You may or may not have text on it.